Hey guys, I'm Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Yeti USB microphone and uh, I'll be using this mic for the entire video so you guys are actually hearing this microphone right now. And I'm filming this video from a new teaching studio so that's why everything looks a little bit different behind me. Um, I won't film from here very often but today it just made a little more sense logistically so I just went ahead and filmed here. Uh, also throughout this video I'll have everything I'm talking about listed down in the description if you guys do want to check any of it out. And I've been using this Blue Yeti USB mic for a few months now with uh, teaching or for teaching FaceTime and Zoom lessons, and it's been a really good microphone for that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the review. Let's go ahead and talk about the build quality. This thing's pretty much built like a tank. It's made all out of metal. The grill is metal. The microphone is metal. Uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> so it feels really, really nice. It's, uh, like I said, it's very heavy, um, very durable. I've had it for a few months now. I haven't had any problems. Still looks and feels brand new. So I'm giving this thing a 10 out of 10 on build quality. Let's go ahead and unpack all the features that this microphone has. Uh, first look at the bottom of it. Down here we have a USB power input. Then we also have a uh, jack for plugging in headphones if you guys want to be able to monitor this in real time without any latency. Pretty cool feature. And then also you have uh, threads down there in case you want to take it off of the included stand and you can put it on a different stand or like a boom mic stand if you want to. Um, then on the front of the mic, you have a volume control that's going to control your headphones. And then you also have a button that you can use to mute the mic if you need to in a pinch, which is pretty cool. Then let's talk about the back of the mic. This is where most of the features are. So back here you have a gain control. And then you also have a, a switch you can use to change the pickup patterns. You have four pickup patterns. Let me read these off. You have cardioid, omni, bidirectional, and stereo. And uh, the stand also swivels back and forth. And like I said, you can take it off the stand if you don't want to use the included one. I've just been using the included stand for my application, which is just teaching guitar and piano lessons on FaceTime and Zoom. That's really it for the features. Let's talk about the most important thing about this mic, which is the sound quality. And I've been using the cardioid pickup pattern for this entire video so far. And that pickup pattern will pick up mostly what is in front of the microphone and just a little bit off to the sides. But I do want to go ahead and go through each one of the different patterns and let you guys hear the difference. I just switched the mic to the stereo setting for the pickup pattern. And this setting is really good for recording acoustic guitars or choir, just anything where you want to capture a nice wide sound. And now I've switched to the omnidirectional setting. And this setting is good if you want to capture like the natural ambience of a room because it's going to capture the sound in front, behind, and even off to the sides of the microphone. So if you want a nice live sound, then this is the setting you want to use. And lastly, we have the bi-directional setting. And for this setting, it's going to record anything that's in front of the mic and also behind it. So say you have two people singing, you could each be on one side of the microphone, get a good sound. You could also kind of set this in the middle of a table for like a podcast, if you have sort of a conversational type podcast, just talking back and forth. So really cool for that. And there's a lot of different settings on this mic, so you should be able to find one for your needs. The only thing that I don't like about this microphone is that they put the gain adjustment on the back of the mic. I really wish they would have put it on the front just because it's a lot easier to change and a lot faster in case you need to make a little adjustments on the fly. Um, but other than that, I really cannot complain about anything else. The build quality is really good. The sound quality is good. Uh, the price is not too bad. It's $130 on Amazon, which for a mic of this build quality, I think is definitely worth it. Um, so for my application, it's been working really well. Uh, guitar and piano lessons on FaceTime and Zoom. Uh, you could use it for a lot of different other things. Obviously, you could record like instruments through it or singing. Uh, maybe have a little bit of fun in GarageBand or <laughs> different software like that. Uh, so really cool. Overall, definitely recommend this microphone and I've been really happy with it. Okay guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for just this quick review of the Blue Yeti USB mic. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, huge thanks to all the patrons <clears throat> for your continued support. You guys help the channel a lot. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.